still so impressive. Oh, I wonder what the construction process was like. So today, I'm here looking for the project manager to start on my internship. This is a built environment industry and it's literally the foundation of Singapore. It's responsible for the houses and apartments you live in, as well as factories and other commercial buildings. As a promising intern for this project, let me welcome you into the world of built environment. I'm here to find the project manager, not gawk around. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, are you the project manager? No, I'm the architect. Can you tell me more about how you designed the NTU hostel? For NTU project, one of the special points is to use the innovative construction method, PPVC. It means prefabricated, pre-finished, volumetric construction. We have designed the building to be constructed in container boxes and box by box and stack it up 13 storeys high. So like Lego? Yes, absolutely. So what are some of the skills I need? The ability to visualise a space in three dimensions, the ability to understand design aesthetics, to be able to translate those visions into reality by working with a large team in achieving what the design has envisaged. So can you share with us, what are some of the challenges you faced over the years? One of the key challenges that we face now is the rate of change. Issues such as environmental sustainability. Those issues are real. How are designers able to now design buildings to ensure that the building is a green building? 3D building modelling is able to simulate and inform the designer how the building would perform. You've really inspired me to overcome my difficulties regardless of the situation I'm in and oh yes, it's time to find the project manager. Hi, are you the project manager? No, I'm the civil engineer actually. Were you directly involved with the construction of the NTU hostel? Yes, I was. For engineers like myself, we are involved in the design of the structural framing of the entire building. What we need to do is to be the middle person between the clients to understand their needs and the consultants who give us the design of the buildings to be done on site. Why did you choose this line to come into? It's a very dynamic job in the sense that you are never doing the same things every day. I'm very, very happy I came and I met you, Mr. Samuel. Deeply, deeply, deeply honoured. But now, I have to go look for the project manager to start on my internship. Bye-bye! Welcome viewers, did you know that the Suntech City's Fountain of Wealth is the largest fountain in the world? That's right, the Fountain of Wealth is made of cast bronze and cost $8 million to build back in 1997. As we speak, a new building, the Tanjong Paga Centre, will take the title for tallest building in Singapore at 290 metres upon its completion. Wow! Oh wow, I didn't expect to see anyone up here. Oh, you look really busy, what are you doing? Hi, I'm Cherry, I'm the M&E engineer. Oh, so what, what do you do? What does your work comprise of? So we design the building services for building. Um, for mechanical, we're looking at the air conditioning and mechanical ventilation systems, fire protection, the plumbing and sanitary systems, etc. And electrical, we're looking at the public address, the vertical transport, the lightning protection, etc. So what kind of challenges should I expect to face every day at work? Well, it's not easy being an M&E engineer. Like I mentioned, there are a lot of services we look into. So it's a process that you actually go through. Um, the more you work in the field, the more you learn. So it's a rewarding job. You actually see the final product after the project is completed. <gasps> is that? Um, yeah, that's our project manager, <gasps> David. Thank you so much, Miss Cherry. <gasps> sir, 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 I can't believe I finally found you. Sir, what is your name? My name is David Ng. I'm the project manager of this construction site. So can you tell me more about your role in managing this whole project? I coordinate all the aspects of the construction process here. I lead a team of engineers. I set budget, I set the deadline, I delegate responsibilities. Safety is my topmost priority down here. And lastly sir, can you tell me how important this industry is? 
The construction industry is a very important pillar of our economy. As of 2015, it constitutes to 5.2% of our GDP. The more I learn about this industry, the more I feel like I was meant for this. And I think I'm going to excel in my internship. What do you think, sir? Yes, you can. Yes, there is hope for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Indeed, everyone plays an important role in this industry. Oh, I think that's the most important lesson I've learned today. We are all just like Lego pieces. Some of us are square, some of us are rectangle, but in the end, we all have to work together if we want to build anything. I really hope I can earn my place in the built environment industry.